Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I'll show you how to do rear brake pads and rear rotors. And this is a 2007 Pontiac Grand Prix. Now, I also have a video on how to do the front brake pads and rotors in this car. So check out my channel for that. So let's get started. Yeah, take the tire off. <laughs> All right, now this is what it looks like with the tire off. You have a 14 millimeter bolt here that holds the caliper onto the caliper bracket. And you have a 13 millimeter bolt here that holds the caliper bracket to the spindle. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this 14 millimeter off here first. Then I'm gonna take the 13 millimeter off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, now over here, like I said, this is 14. You probably need a little breaker bar. In this case, we didn't need one. And now do the bottom one. Ouch. Clumsy clown. Okay, now. These bolts here, like I said, hold the caliper onto the bracket, but these bolt straight into the sliders over here. So you just pop this right out. Like that. Like so. Now you put this on the side. Put it right there. And now, you take those bolts off. Now these hold the caliper bracket onto the spindle. So sometimes you need a breaker bar. What I do is I put a pipe over it, because I like putting my pipe on things. bottom bolt. Now these bolts are the same top and bottom unlike the front. And this one I gotta put my pipe on. My awesome pipe. I was on there hard. Now so bracket comes right off like so. So put that to the side. We'll get that to the, we'll get back to that later. Now you can take the rotor off. And this one you have to smack around a little bit. Uh, so this bad boy doesn't want to come out. So you can always put a little bit of coil. Or uh, you can also use some clown butter sauce, which I'm going to package one day and sell it. So keep a lookout for that. Or WD-40. And you just spray it inside where the studs are. And all around here. And you let that sit for a little bit. Give it a good whack. Like it owes you money. BFH. Like that. How easy was that? So hit it like a man. Alright, now you get the new rotor. You make sure you size it up with the old rotor. Make sure it's the same. I already did that. You just put it on top of the other. Make sure the bolt holes are good, are correct. Uh, same orientation and also the diameter is the same. So you grab this. You grab your brake cleaner and spray the living crap out of it front and back. I'll do the back first. Then you take 
a towel or a blue towel because I'm special or a regular towel and just clean the rotor now another thing you could do here is so the rotor won't stick to the flange over here is just put a little bit of anti-seize Permatex makes this and just put a little bit around this little hub over here like that push it in I like to push things in makes my day go smoother and the next thing I like to do here is put a wheel stud nut on just to hold the rotor in place all right now you're gonna need a tool like this this is an OEM disc brake piston tool now you'll need this to turn the piston on the caliper in and let me show you what I mean and how to use this you see this piston over here right there you have to turn that and it'll push in and press it down as you're turning it too it'll go in a little smoother so you see this is the piece you'll need right there there's different ones here but for this car it's this now you can also rent this tool for MotoZone I believe so if you don't have it you can do it that way now what you do is you put this in there so it catches those grooves right there and it'll sit flush in there like like that like that now if you see over here hold on a second right there you see how it sits in there flush that's what you want now you can go ahead and turn this you put a 3 8 inch extension in there And while you're holding it down with one hand, you turn it with the other. You put a ratchet on there with the 3 inch extension, and you turn that piston and it'll go in. As you can see, it's turning. Now, it's a little tough to do this on camera. And as you're turning, that piston is going to drive all the way in. And that's it. That's it. Alright, now you put the bracket back on. Ah, you can leave the pads in there so you can see which ones go where. So, just put that in there. And you, tie it. you hand thread the bolts in so they can catch first. Because you don't want to be cross-threading stuff here. And you have it, you'll be having a bad day. All right, now you take the back pad out, just simply slide it out. And the back pad has the sensor on it. This is the sensor, the wear sensor, and that tells you when the back pad's bad. Now, before you change it, uh, the pad slides on these tabs back and forth on this metal bracket here. Let me show what I'm talking about. There's a metal bracket right there, right there. So you want to clean that up with brake cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I want to make sure there's nothing in there that will cause the brake pad not to slide freely back and forth or else you're going to have to change those brackets too. 
Now you take some brake caliper grease. You put some in those brackets where only a little bit where it slides back and forth, what I just showed you. So go ahead and do that, the top bottom. And also put some of that on these tabs. I want to put on this point here, on top, and on this point. Same thing here, over here, over here, and over here. Now don't go too crazy because you don't want this going on your rotor. So that's, that's just enough right there. And now all you got to do is pop this bad boy in. You go from behind, just the way I like it, because as if you didn't know, I'm Greek. And once you put it in those grooves, you, you just squeeze it and it's in. It's recording. Now you grab the front pad, just pop that out. like that and put the new one on same procedure here you clean the bracket over here you can see it better over here that right there hold on a second sorry right there that's where the tab goes back and forth on the bracket over there and like now you put some caliper grease on this bracket in there don't put too much. You can always put some on your finger and put some in there. Same thing with the top. Now put some caliper grease. Same spots here on this one. And now what you do is put in like this. There's like a little U here that goes towards the rotor. So you put this in the brackets on the outside like so and you just squeeze it in and you're done. Now take the sliders out and what you do here is same thing. Brick cleaner you pull the foreskin down, I mean the boot down. And you clean that bad boy. You clean the smegma, I mean the old grease out. Look how cute that is. Nice little turtleneck over there. So, run your finger across here, make sure it's good, it's not, nothing's rough. And you can also lightly sand this if it's a little uh, rough, but when in doubt, always uh, replace it. That's what I say. Why take chances? Now go ahead and put some caliper grease on this. Lube that bad boy up, because a little bit of butter sauce makes everything better. Need I say that again? Then you... Uh, Put it back in the hole and make sure everything goes back and forth nicely. And just put the boot over like that. It'll go right in. And do the same procedure in the bottom. Put that bad boy in and make sure the boot goes over on top over here. You're going to feel a little thing. Oh, it's in there. And like that. Now, clean these tabs over here. Clean these tabs over here. Let's put some brake cleaner right there. And clean those too. Now, get yourself some disc brake quiet. Some pads come with it, these didn't. So, let's go right here. Now, if you ask, if you also want to know where we got these parts from, just go to uh, Rock Auto or uh, usually Rock Auto, they have a lot of stuff. That's where I get my parts too from. 
So you put this over here on these tabs over here and these caliper ears. Don't have to put too much. And some on the other side. Then put some put some of this on the back of the brick pads. Alright, now you grab the caliper and you put it back on. And make sure th these tabs here go all of, over the sliders. And that's it. You just put the bolts on and you tighten it down. Make sure you catch it by hand first. Now sometimes when you put these on, this may go around with it. Um, this turns also. You can just hold it with your hand like this until it grabs. Then you could just tighten it down. Don't go too crazy here because you don't need too much torque on that. Alright, now you can just put some antices here on the face and on the hub over here. Just all around. You can also put a little bit on the studs. Just so next time when you take this off, sometimes because of different metals, the rim sticks onto the hub over here and the rotor and it's hard to take out so you can do that and now that you're done you can take the wheel stud nut out so that concludes the video of how to do rear brakes pads and rotors on a 2007 Pontiac Grand Prix thanks for watching check out my channel if you like videos like these also subscribe to my channel you know you want to and uh, share me, like me, do whatever you want to me down there. This plane is clumsy to go around. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.